Make sure to use code BANGLE at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus. And check out my second channel for other games coming up like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4. As well as my third channel with collaborations with some of your favorite YouTubers. Let's get into the video. After a terrible 2013 and then pretty bad 2014, only going 6-6 six and six and not qualifying for a bowl game, we are back in 2015 and better than ever. We were a 70 overall at our peak last season. We are now up to a 79 overall with an 80 overall defense and an 81 overall offense, I believe, as we have UH. 81 offense, 80 defense, yes. They are a 75 overall and one of the worst teams in college football. I think they might be the worst team in the entire game. So, I'll give you guys a little disclaimer. One, I played this game into the fourth quarter. We dominated. It was 52-0, and then my computer froze. So what I'm going to do here is go into the Dynasty setup, and I'm going to change it from default Heisman to um, make it slightly more difficult. We're going to go 45 uh, instead of 50 on most of these stats and see how it plays. And then for the CPU, we're going to give them 55. Just to make it a little bit more of a challenge, I also will point out that Oklahoma actually got upset by Vanderbilt, if I recall. That's going to pop up in the game that we play. And Notre Dame is now the number one team in the country after beating my Texas Longhorns, who are ranked at number eight. So they have moved up. They are on the schedule this year. We will have to play Notre Dame, and that game is next week. Number one Notre Dame. We were going to come off of just demoralizing... Uh, victory for UAB. I mean, UAB B, uh, was demoralized, I should say. I also am going to make changes that I was going to make, but forgot about. This is the lineup, by the way, if you'd like to see for Season 2. Colby Spencer, Scott Lewis, Kedrick Cunningham, if you care about the backups, uh, Pedro Goddard, Chris Porter is a redshirt freshman, Terrence Lawrence and Jeremy Chance at running back. Fullback is Tim O'Brien, Michael Harrison still in there. And then at receiver, we have Hunter Register, the transfer from Minnesota. Rob Gaither, the five-star true freshman recruit out of Bell Chase, Louisiana. Omar Williams, Roland Francisco at number four. Of course, Ryan Bowler was moved to tight end. He's tight end two. If you didn't see the offseason video, I highly recommend watching that. Jake Rodriguez is still going to play tight end. And then our entire offensive line, except for right tackle, is made up of redshirt juniors. Josiah Howard, Jeff McGrew, Jack Hamm. Corey Tedwell, and of course the senior Jabari Siegel. On the defensive line, Deontay McKeon, the redshirt junior at left end. Sandoval Slaughter is back, now a sophomore at right end. The defensive line is incredible. Preseason All-American Daryl Bradford is a monster. He's a redshirt sophomore. And of course, Albert Johnson is incredible as well. New numbers for a lot of these guys. So Albert Johnson took Simeon Petty's number at 90. I will be changing some of these and I'll I'll let you know what I changed. Colt 45, Colt Nash at left outside linebacker. Devin White, Edwin Garrett at middle linebacker because we do run 3-4 sometimes. Jeff Fisher at right outside linebacker. And then Chris Chase, the junior college transfer at CB1. Derek Higgins and Chris Outlaw with Freddie Stovall at CB2, 3, and 4. A free safety, Devin Robeson moved from cornerback to that free safety position. And then Mike Hitman Lee is our starting strong safety with Pete Riley and Kyle Day at kicker and punter. So Omar, uh, Omar Williams, who went off in the game that you guys, I guess, will never see when we were up 52-0, he is a monster. He had two touchdowns, like 100-plus yards, uh, but his new number is not going to be 84. I think it's going to be number one, Omar Williams. He will, he will wear number one. So Karan Kirkpatrick, rest in peace. I know you're not dead, but you're dead to the team right now. So Mike Lee at Kansas wore number 11, and I think that's actually available. It is. So he will wear number 11 at strong safety. Chris Chase, the junior transfer, is going to play uh, and wear number 31 at cornerback number 1. And I'm going to give Albert Johnson the defensive tackle number 10. I think that's it for number changes right now. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this game versus... Maybe the worst team in college football, the UAB Blazers. Also, sorry to spoil like what didn't happen. Well, I mean, it did, but you didn't see it. Devin White had two interceptions into the fourth quarter. So he was balling out. He is a lot of fun to use. And uh, I'm very upset that my computer froze. 
So take two. And it is refreshing to see us actually have good top players that we can use because Devin White, Hunter Register were in our top three last year and we couldn't use them because they were actual transfers. It was just Colby Spencer. And they're getting up into the 80s. Jake Rodriguez and Colby Spencer up to 84 overall. Devin White is an 87 overall. This team's no joke, and it's raining now. Oh, come on. Come on, UAB. Stop the rain. I also remarked the first time around that, like, we don't travel particularly well. Like, there are not a lot of people at this game. And granted, it is Ozark State versus LSU. Or LSU. I wish LSU. Uh, versus UAB. No one showed up to this game. No one is here. Our defense was dominant in game one. Hopefully we see the same here as it doesn't look like it. Deontay McKeon can't wrap up. Finally, Sandoval Slaughter comes over to make the tackle. Kalen Heath picks up 14, but enough about the game that you guys aren't going to see at this point. Um, so all we can do is come out and perform in this one. Devin White, please. Nope. He does come back to make the tackle as Robeson can't wrap up. But another big gain. And UAB's not messing around this time. Devin White! Good tackle. Gotta love the tackle for losses. Maybe we're gonna start playing well. Edwin Garrett not making the play. And Mike Lee can't wrap up. Robeson lays the hit, but they pick up 16. Is that a fumble? Ball's on the ground, recovered by Devin White. What happened? He just kind of threw it behind. Let's take a look at the replay. Just at the recovery, that's weak. Did we run a screen? That's not the play I tried to call. Is Colby Spencer gonna break a tackle? Finally wrestled down, hopefully uh, not injured. Third and two. Let's pick up the first down. We're going to roll out with Colby Spencer. Nobody's open. That is across the middle of the field. We we're looking for Omar Williams to make his first catch for the Outlaws. And we couldn't do it. But you know what we do at Ozark State. We stay aggressive and we go for it on fourth down when it fits us. And I think it does suit us in this particular scenario. Fourth and two. Oh, I want... Jake Rodriguez. What is that? Catch the ball. I held Y. Oh my goodness. We had the first down. Nothing was really getting open. Unfortunate, but like, how is that not a first? How did Jake Rodriguez not get an animation there? Jacobs throwing deep. Okay. Well, I switched on and, uh, I mean, you cl clearly can see what happened. It didn't. It didn't go well. Didn't go well. Uh, yikes! That was just bad. That was bad. What is that? What? What was that? I don't know what that play was. Second and fourteen. Going outside to Omar Williams. That I believe is his first catch uh, on the Outlaws. Yep. The true freshman, the five-star recruit out of Bell Chase, Louisiana, staying local. Of course, the team builder that I downloaded, Ozark, is in Louisiana for whatever reason. <laughs> but whatever. Over the middle, complete to Hunter Register. The transfer from Minnesota. His first catch with the group. And it was nice that he entered the uh, receiver group, the receiving core. We got a pretty fresh group of players, and they are good. As Colby Spencer jukes back to the inside, picks up 12. Rodriguez wide open in the flat. Tried to bowl over the cornerback, and we did, but we <laughs> Rodriguez fell down too. Third and one. Read option for Spencer. We're going to slide. Another first down, though. Oh my god, Scott Lewis, what a spin move. Here's a screen, goes to Kedrick Cunningham. There's a pretty good outside spin move by the quarterback turned receiver turned running back. Read option, good block. Colby Spencer turns it up, breaks a tackle. 
and fights for 12. First and goal, it's play action. Throwing, to, uh, second and goal. We are still throwing, maybe had Omar Williams. So we're just gonna throw it away. Running triple option, Colby Spencer, I tried to take it up the middle. He was uh, not responsive to that request. And we are down here, seven nothing to the UAB Blazers. Field goal is good. Now 7-3 is number 69. Pete Riley kicks it through. Coming up shortly to the end of the first quarter. And then Colby Spencer now has shin splints. So he's out for a bit. Great. Uh, he will come back in. That's He's going to play through injury. I mean, it's that much is a given. Oh, no. Can we tackle, please? Can we tackle? All right. Enemy spotted. Oh, my God. Wrap up. Thank you. That is the freshman starting a defensive tackle in a 4-3. Albert Johnson, number 10 for Ed Oliver. Just beat him. Jeff Fisher couldn't wrap up, but Big Al could. Good work for his first sack on the team. Oh, that's not an interception? You're kidding me. This guy's still going. What's going on here? We're blitzing, and down goes Jacobs. That's Sandoval Slaughter on the sack. UAB gonna have to punt on fourth and 14. We sent a lot of pressure, and it's like everybody got in. Here's the punt. Of course, Kedrick Cunningham is now our return man. A fan favorite for whatever reason. It's good work from him to uh, gain, what, three maybe? Wide open, Jake Rodriguez. We've seen that before. Love that tight end corner route. Colby Spencer knew it, timed it up great. Easy completion. Third and one. We're going to throw that one. Complete. Hunter register over the middle. Gain of nine. Kind of just working to the outside there, but eh, we'll call it the middle. Another third down. This is third and five. Someone's got to get open, right? That's going to be a tight completion, but it is one. Omar Williams catches it through contact. I love to see it. I mean, you don't want to recruit a player, right? Five stars. Put everything you got to get him. And then he comes out and he drops the ball. Omar Williams is the real deal. Oh, no. We're going to roll right into something. Not good. We have three receivers in the area, and it goes off Rob Gaither's hands. We're just talking about not dropping the ball, Rob. And he's been one of the best receivers in Ozark State history. And he doesn't catch it. Especially last year, he was incredible. We're going to throw that ball. Colby Spencer nearly intercepted it by Ted Lawrence. How did you not get that over? He was open. What are you doing? Colby Spencer, come on, man. That's open. Jake Rodriguez, easy first down for the tight end inside the goal line area, inside the five. Going to be first and goal. And man, I feel like everything out of my mouth is just verbal garbage right now. I apologize. Inside the goal area? I was going to say inside the five, and I said goal. What is wrong with me? There we go. Jake Rodriguez, touchdown. Our first touchdown of the 2015 season. Love to see that. Going up 10-7. We're, we're better than UAB. This shouldn't be a game. We let up a touchdown, and it was my fault. All my fault. We played well otherwise. Let's capitalize and shut him out from here on out. Devin White runs right past him. Okay. I mean, that's on me, I guess. I don't know who else would be on. Devin White runs right past him again. We're sensing a trend here. Here's a handoff up the middle. Nothing but space. What is going on here? Throw it at me. They're going to the flat. It's nearly intercepted by Jeff Fisher. That's why I don't lower the uh, sliders down from 70. 
on the interceptions because they don't catch any of them ever. I know he's a linebacker, but I mean, he threw it right to you. He looked like you were the intended receiver, Jeff. Hold on to the ball. They're going end zone. That's going to be a touchdown. Andre Wilson burned Derrick Higgins. We were in a, in a zone style, so it wasn't really. It was just safety couldn't get there in time. Robeson couldn't make the play. And UAB's back on top, 14-10. Read option. One man to beat. Good block. Gaither, we're going to spin back. I'm always looking for the next big play, more yardage. Thank God Colby Spencer has not injured himself yet. Rolling out with Colby. And we got some space. Good block up down the outside of the uh, field there. I don't even know who that was, but he really set up everything. There we go, Scott Lewis up the middle. He breaks a tackle, falls forward a bit. We're gonna go throw that. Colby Spencer just misses it. I think we had Jake Rodriguez. He just didn't go up and get it. A little high, maybe. Third and three. We have space. Oh my goodness. We run right into it. I don't really know that we had much choice. And Nick Holman there was really, really fast when I tried to break that to the outside. We're going to try another field goal here. It's number 69, Pete Riley. And it is nice. Splitting the sticks, putting up three on the board. And we are now down 14-13 with a minute and 13 left here in the first half. And Spencer is injured again. They're going deep. Switching on with Chris Chase, and he doesn't make the play. That's not on me. We were in the perfect position. And Jacobs just puts it over his head. He's having an incredible day. Oh, my God. That's not a user pick. Are you kidding? I'm right there. And instead, they have a... First down with Tyler Marshall. He picked up 11. Uh, that's the end zone. And that's a touchdown. Brewer Hicklin, what is going on? The Blazers are playing very, very well. It's going to be 21-13. Our defense is, is not killing it right now. They're getting killed. 23 seconds to try and score before the half. That's a great start. That's what you like to see. You like to get sacked by Sean Simpson, his second of the game. Did Omar Williams burn him? He totally did, and the pass is just underthrown here in the rain. And that will be the end of the first half. Pretty upsetting performance by this Ozark State team, but there always is a second half. Oh, Kedrick, go. Stay up. He's breaking tackles. Here we go. Pick up the block. Colby Spencer just isn't fast enough. Start of the third quarter. I mean, let's get it here. Let's show up in a big way. Here we go, Scott Lewis. There's a great juke and a good block. He just doesn't have the speed to outrun the defender. Brought down after a big gain of 17. That's what I like to see. Scott Lewis is getting things going here. Oh my god, what a spin move by Colby Spencer. Juke back inside the five. Pickup of 18. Back-to-back -back big plays. Look at that spin move to evade the tackle for loss. That's what Colby Spencer brings to the table. And then another move to pick up maybe four or five extra yards. First and goal. Muller in motion. Hand off to Cunningham. And Kendrick Cunningham has a rushing touchdown as a running back. I think he has a few as a quarterback. But we're going to go for two and try to tie things up. Cunningham in motion. We're going to throw that slant. Wide open is Hunter Register over the middle. And it's a 21-21 ball game. Bring him down. Thank you. He still picks up one. Good way to bring him down, I think. That was Daryl Bradford and uh, maybe somebody else was there too. It's going to be third and nine. 
Would love to stop them here and really start to run away with this game. They're going short. You got to wrap up. Marshall can't get it. It's going to be fourth and one. I would be shocked if UAB tries to go for this here, given their field positioning, and they will not. Colby Spencer just showcasing the speed there. We went with the verticals and uh, didn't really see a throw I wanted to make. So I'll settle for the scramble. I mean, he's so good at doing that. Read option. We're going to have pretty good blocking here. It was all right. Colby Spencer injured again, and we are going to punt the ball away. Not a very successful drive, but you guys know I am a decent punter, and we're showcasing it here. Look at the punt. Is there anyone who does it better? It's a touchback? No way. <laughs> oh, yeah, all right, well, you hate to see that. There's always a rare exception. Obviously, all the punts are down inside the five, except for that one. There's never... There can't be another example. Jacob's throwing. That's got to be picked! Robeson drops it! Third and five. We got to stop him here. They're going short. Chris Chase got a tackle. He pushes him out nearly and can't quite get him down. 16 yard gain. Wow, they ran that play action really quick. What is that blocking? Here's a run. Please get there. We can't. They're throwing short. Get there, Garrett. Good tackle. Heath picks up four still. Get there. Skinner brings down John Jacobs. Who are you? Who in the world is Skinner? I'll take it. Going short. Harmon can't wrap up. But number 28 can. Who is that? I don't know who any of these players are. These are unfamiliar numbers. Fourth and goal, UAB going to kick the field goal, and it is good. They go up 24-21 as we have not looked great today. Go, Kedrick. There we go. Going deep down the field, Omar Williams. Can't go up and get it. Gonna be third and six. This offense, man, disappointing. There he is, Omar Williams, first down. And somehow more, we're moving to the hurry up, try to take advantage of uh, UAB's, UAB's defense right now. Let's try, try slot drive. Put Williams on a fade. One of these guys is gonna confuse the, uh, the safety. It's going to be rolling Francisco. Streak. First down inside the 10. That's open. Scott Lewis receiving touchdown. That's a nine-yard gain. And we are going to retake the lead. 28-24. Maybe UAB is a real tough place to play. That's the only explanation here. As we just haven't had it today. We really haven't. Thank God UAB is probably like the worst team in the game. Otherwise, I don't even know how bad a team like Alabama would be beating us right now. And Heath has a lot of space. Man, this is certainly not the upset well, not an upset, but certainly wasn't the uh, the upset for UAB. 
that uh, we had last time. Again, it was 52 nothing going into the fourth quarter. We just haven't had the splash plays. We haven't had um, the dominating performances. We can't wrap up at any opportunity. It's been upsetting. Third and two. It's gonna be a run. I'm gonna run commit. It's a pass. All right, that screws us. Almost. Devin White, big tackle, but he picks up the first. Devin White in the backfield. He had help. Lucius Stanley is the guy that went down. Who was the first outlaw that got to him? Looks like that was a 33, maybe, which will be, of course, Edwin Garrett. Backup middle linebacker, and it is now third down and 11. Four and a half minutes to play here in the fourth. They're going short. Oh my god, he got that? You gotta be kidding me. Jacob's gonna run. Somebody go after him, it's clear as day! Everybody knows what's going on. Everyone in the entire stadium can see he's running. And you stand there. To run, big tackle. Edwin again. Big play from Garrett. Third and goal. Jacobs is trying to run. Just touch him. I wonder if the Blazers are gonna go for this one here. They are down by four, and they are. We'll come out and cover two. They have to pick up four yards. That's it. That's a touchdown. Is Devin White on the field? He isn't. That's bad. That is bad news for us. They're going to pass the ball. Bradford's down. Get after him. Jacobs throwing end zone. Touchdown, Andre Wilson. No. Wide open in the flat. It's register. Good juke move. Picking up 20. That's what this offense needs to do. Just get down the field. Chunk yard. That's his sixth catch of the game. That's deep down the field. Bird, Colby Spencer puts it on the money for Omar Williams, and he drops it. I mean, you don't want to recruit a player, right? Five stars. Put everything you got to get him. And then he comes out and he drops the ball. Mission failed. We'll go next time. Oh, my God. The five-star recruit. And, yeah, I'll be saying that the entire season long, at least. I know he's only a freshman, but... You can't drop the ball in that situation. Are you kidding me? Throwing that quick. Roland Francisco, he's had his share of drop issues in the past, but holds on there, picks up the very important first down. Scott Lewis broke a tackle there. Another big gain from him. That's open. We're going to throw that. Register to Muller to the end zone. 25 yard touchdown for now. Second string tight end Ryan Muller. It's Mueller. It isn't. We've, we've spoken to him on numerous occasions, many interviews. He introduces himself as Ryan Muller every time. And that is a very big lead for us to take. Did I kick the extra point? I kind of blacked out for that. Did I? I don't remember kicking it. I guess. I guess I must have. Oh, ball's out. Recovered by Edwin Garrett. UAB turnovers the ball on the kick return. We got to see who forced that ball out. Here's the kick from Big 69, Pete Riley. Into the hands of UAB. And who came down and forced it? That is number 14, who is Barron. Oh, okay. Randall Barron, he's a redshirt senior, free safety. And he just made the biggest play of his career in a game against UAB. Sucks, sucks to be him, kind of. And, the, I, and you're like, why would it suck? He just made a great play. It is against UAB. Nobody saw this. It's not like he clutched up against, you know, Notre Dame last season to save us. Run, 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 run. Run, run, run. 
Oh, what a juke by Scott Lewis. Thought that was going to be a tackle for loss for sure. He picks up 10. Rolling out. Colby Spencer, easy touchdown. It's an eight yard run. And uh, we didn't throw it once. You will never see that happen. We are pretty much an air raid team at this point. And this extra point I can recall taking. I guess I must have kicked the other one. I just don't remember even at all. Which is probably concerning. That's probably a sign of early onset Alzheimer's. I feel like no one is ever where they need to be. UAB is driving down the field. I'm putting hook zones all over. And I'm still seeing routes that hooks should cover get wide open. Like that route in that area of the field has been open all the time. Not that exact route per se, but like right in that area of the field, the entire drive has been wide open. That's gotta be mine, use your pick. Easy reads with Devin White. If you give a mouse a cookie, he might just return it all the way for the game ceiling touchdown. Easy reads, user pick. And it's going to be 49-31. So we have the McKeon brothers at left end and inside linebacker. And they're going to air it out and go deep. That's got to be an interception. Freddie Stovall. And now that's really the dagger. That's GG. That's game over. And that is going to be the game. The Ozark State Outlaws defeat the UAB Blazers 49-31 in a, in a weird one. It's the only thing I can say. It was a weird game. Who is the player of the game? Do we get to find out? Colby Spencer, probably. I mean, he had a great game. I didn't even realize. 389 passing yards, four touchdowns, no picks. That was, uh, that was kind of a surprise seeing that. I didn't expect for that to be the case. Scott Lewis played really well. And uh, this was a game that we should have won, and we did. We needed to. And we let up too many points. The defense overall, I think, played well. Colby Spencer was excellent, both on the ground and through the air. I mean, obviously, player of the game. I don't even know why I was thinking about it. Scott Lewis was solid, eight and a half yards per carry, and we don't go to him that often. Jake Rodriguez, Hunter Register, both with six catches. Touchdowns for Jake Rodriguez, Scott Lewis, and Ryan Muller. Offensive line, I think, overall was good. Overall. Tackles for loss. Devin White played great in his debut, including an interception return for a touchdown and sacks from Albert Johnson to various Skinner and Sandoval Slaughter with interceptions for Freddie Stovall and Devin White. And of course, forced fumbles for, well, we forced them. So I don't know what you're talking about. I guess, I don't know. Edwin Garrett recovered it. And then of course, a defensive touchdown for Devin White. What a debut from the middle linebacker. But that will do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.